Yeah. This is the $10,000 Death Nut Challenge. <laughs> oh, this is the worst one I've ever had. Five nuts with increasing spice that reaches up to 13 million scovels. <laughs> That's gonna be hotter than anything we've ever tried in any video ever. Welcome to another edition of Try Guys Game Time. Are you our little nutty professor today? Sammy Squirrel is my nickname. Even though this is a sloth costume, but I beg everyone to consider what is a sloth other than a patient squirrel. <laughs> 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 so today you're playing for $10,000, but that $10,000 is not for yourself. It'll be going towards a charity of your choice. I'm gonna be asking a series of trivia questions, and if you get the trivia question right, congrats, you stay in the game. If you get it wrong and would like to continue in the game, you might must eat a death nut. I thought the questions would be easier, I'm guessing, on every single one! Alrighty, fellas, shall we get started? Question one. What is a small nut called? Is it A, a nutling? Oh no. B, a nutlet? Oh no. Or C, lil nut? <laughs> <laughs> well, here comes the first guess of the day. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going with B. Nutling. Oh, I'm going with A Nutling. I'm also going with A Nutling. I'm going with Lil. No, I'm going with Nutling. <laughs> no, no, Zach. The correct answer Sam, was Sam. B. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, Nutlet. Oh, Sam. That's so weird. I'm the only one that got it right. What what happens now? So Zach, that means that you are safe from eating the first nut, but for Ned, Keith, and Eugene, if you would like to continue, you must eat the first <laughs> nut. Level one, it's called Getting Started. It's got the Carolina Reaper and chocolate bootla peppers. I would like to stay in the game. I feel like dropping out at one point is not honorable. Yeah. I will be eating the nut. I'm a squirrel, I'm a little squirrel, I'm a hot little squirrel. Here we go, let's do this. Uh, it, it is it is mild, but it's it quite a quite a stringent mild. It's aggressive. There's a little something there. It's pretty aggressive. Yeah. It actually, flavor wise, is pretty delicious. Oh! Oh, ah! <laughs> There's a nice balance to it. Uh, oh! Oh! Every time I swallow, I get just extra spice uh, coming down. Guys, a reminder: henceforth, do not touch your face. For sure. All right, I think we should continue. I think we should answer the next question. <laughs> well. This Disney character is also the name of a peanut butter brand. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> My animation knowledge is coming in handy. Shh, don't give a I won't say anything. Don't give a pimps. I don't even know peanut butter brands. Uh, Everyone's favorite peanut butter and Disney character, Skippy. <laughs> Why, of course, you're talking about Instagram's favorite, Jif Palm. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Peter, Peter Pan. Pan! Oh, <laughs> Oh, God damn it, of course it's Peter Pan. He's not a Disney character. He's yeah. He was adapted by Disney. Yeah. That's a different thing. I wanted to eat this nut, but now I'm pissed off because I don't like getting quizzes wrong. Now, this is my second wrong answer, so I'm stepping up to level two. Heat level mild plus. It's got the Carolina Reaper and ghost peppers. Here's to you, Peter Pan, because I'm going to Never Never Land. Now, y'all know me. I'm a real nut sucker, so today I won't be chewing. I'll be sucking on these nuts. <laughs> God damn it, Zach. Think happy thoughts. Ow! <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Oh no. That was such a dumb question to get wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, breathing out hurts. Oh, breathing out hurts so much. Ah! Next question. Who composed the ballet The Nutcracker? Was it A, Tchaikovsky, Kofsky, B, Mozart, or C, Brahms? Brahms. Brahms. Is the pronunciation. I don't know if that's right or not. I don't know. <laughs> Answers. All right, uh, pens down. The brilliant, the closeted. A. 
Tchaikovsky. Hey, Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. I should have tried to spell it. I didn't realize that was part of the game. I hate to tell you, fellas, but unfortunately, none of you will be eating enough. No. Oh, oh, God. God. I was like, Damn. Like, Damn. I was like no, Damn. I played it. I played it. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. What is the only known nut allergy? that can be sexually transmitted. I'm, can you repeat the phrasing of the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I assume it means that if you consume this and then have sex with someone, they will have a reaction. That makes more sense than being able to transmit your allergy to somebody. Is it A, Brazil nut allergy? That is, this is hilarious. B, chestnut allergy? Or C, butternut allergy? Okay. Because of the inherent romantic nature of the song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, <laughs> I had to go with B, Chestnut. I don't know what a butternut is, but that's my answer. I'm going A, Brazil Nut. I went with A, Brazil Nut, yes, because we probably have a lot of Brazilians watching. Hi, hi, hi. Comment I'm below if you're from hi. Brazil. The correct answer was A. Oh, yeah! And rule at multiple choice, hell yeah. yeah. Which I means Ned it. and Keith will need to eat <laughs> another no. nut in order to continue. I knew butternut didn't even make sense. Butternut is a squash. Yeah, Ned. Yeah. Oh, butternut you squash. Definitely heard oh, of it. I should have thought I just that. couldn't believe there'd be two A answers in a row. Every wrong answer feels so right to me. <laughs> it's a privilege to be eating this death nut pack. I'm gonna buy back in with It's Getting Real. Level three, medium, Carolina Reapers plus seven pot brain strain peppers. Okay, I'm gonna stay in. I'm eating level two. You said it was pretty hot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. Maybe they're using sugar to stick all the... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yet. <laughs> I chewed it all on the right side of my mouth and it, <laughs> and it feels like my right side's heavy. Oh! Oh, I gotta be with that. No, look at it. No, 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 look. Oh, the burps are coming. <laughs> the burps are coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting real. It's getting real. Next question. What was the name of the 1994 comedy film directed by Nora Ephron starring Steve Martin? I don't know this movie. Yeah, I love I Nora Ephron. Me either. Was it A, <laughs> The Nut Job, B, Nuts About You, or C, Mixed Nuts? This question is something that means Zach should know. I know, I'm very disappointed in myself. Oh, <laughs> so okay. Oh, it's so painful. It has gone down none. I don't know this movie, but I know that Nora Ephron is a pioneer in the rom-com genre, so I'm going B, Nuts About You. Same answer, same reason. Steve Martin is a crazy guy. I think he's one hell of a nut job. I think nut job refers to the animated film with the squirrel. And I think Nuts About You is a little too on the nose, so I'm I'm going out on a limb and saying mixed nuts. It just sounds like something Nora Ephron would direct. That was my second choice. Come on, I hate Ed. to break it to you guys. Daddy needs this. Oh, me. Come on, Come Sam. On, Sam. But Eugene, you are the only one who will not be eating a nut. You saw what I did there? Oh, no. The correct answer was C, mixed nuts. Love you, Nora. Oh. I need, I need some milk. I can't do two in a row like that. <laughs> Can we do some math questions, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, at level three, I'm gonna just start sucking the nut off instead of chewing. <laughs> just picking this up, my stomach turned. It went, no, oh. don't. Oh, this one looks it's just so as bad as the death nut. It's man. so dark. Level four, pain sets in. This heat level is hot with 2X Carolina Reapers and seven pot doula peppers. Fuck, I like my body. <laughs> Be careful, Keith. <laughs> Why are our spitballs this small? Oh! <laughs> 
is the worst one I've ever had. Eugene, have you only uh, had one nut? I've only had one nut. Wow. Fucking bullshit. Poor guy. He's even good at random ass trivia questions. <laughs> Your next question is, in 1916, who famously wrote the bulletin, How to Grow Peanuts and 105 Ways of Preparing It for Human Consumption? A. Don't give multiple choice on this one. I need a competitive advantage. Was it A, Dr. George Washington Carver? B. Booker T. Washington, or C. William Vanderbilt. Is this a trick question? The roof of my mouth feels like somebody poured acid on it. If I get this wrong, that's it for me. I can't go any further. When you think nuts, you think A. Dr. George Washington Carver. The father of the peanut, George Washington Carver. A. George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver. And you all are correct. Uh, the answer was yeah. A. Yay, we live to see another day. Fucking bullshit, the one I know everyone knows. Next question. Which world-renowned movie and pop star starred in the 1987 movie Nuts? Was it A, Whitney Houston, B, Barbara Streisand, or C, Madonna? I don't know, baby, I don't know. I'm 50-50 between two of them. I'm going with Babs. I also guess Barbara Streisand. That's who I guessed, and then I changed my mind because you know who's nuts? My daughter! <laughs> As a gay man, I should know this, but I don't. But my most informed guess is B, Barbara Streisand. B, oh, Barbara. <laughs> well, this has been fun. Oh my God, thank you. This has been a fun ride. I'm not eating any more nuts as the roof of my mouth feels like I put it in a 500 degree oven. So long, Keith. It's a tough nut to swallow. <laughs> right. uh, I've had three glasses of oatmeal. <laughs> Ned, this one's for you. I hope so. <laughs> These nuts are the mascot of Ohio State University. I know this one. I don't know that this is the name of a nut, but it's the only Ohio team I know. The Buckeyes? Oh, wait. You're a little monster. <laughs> I-O. Uh, Buckeyes. You knew it? Yeah. Dang it. You are all correct. Congratulations. Eugene, you do a sports one? I mean, I know college teams and mascots. I don't necessarily know like their stats or players. Next question. Which nut is also called a goober? Is it A, pine nuts, B, chestnuts, or C, peanuts? As a goober myself, I know that the answer is A. I do this guy, he's a little f goober, am I right? <laughs> Look at him. I guessed peanuts. I might be wrong, but I guessed peanuts because in the SpongeBob movie they have the Goofy Goober song oh. and they're dressed like peanuts. So I wonder if they were actually being clever about an actual reference. Eugene, you are absolutely correct with that reference. The answer is yes. C, peanuts. I knew that one. Oh! For the, for the record, I did know that one. Zach, the choice is yours. You can either exit the game now or eat your third death nut to stay in the game. What will it be? Three was bad, but if you can push past and get to four, you get on a whole different plane, man. Samuel! I'm gonna get that nut. Look how big this is. This is crazy. Suck it, suck it. <laughs> Next question, what is the fear of getting peanut butter stuck to the roof of your mouth called. Oh God. And excuse my pronunciation. Arachibuteriophobia. Oh, oh that's not helpful. <laughs> B, ophidiophobia. Or C, acrophobia. I need a minute. I don't think it's safe for me to drive home. This is nuts. <laughs> this whole video is crazy, don't you think? <laughs> I'm going with A. I'm going with A. I'm also going with A, just because it sounds like the more specific a phobia is, the longer the word is. Correct answer was A. Oh You're all God. moving on. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, nut God. Thank you, nut God. Finish this Nicki Minaj lyric to the song, Girls Fall Like Dominoes. Oh, I don't know. 
know. The lyric is, <laughs> say my shoe game nuts, so I call them blank. I got it. I'm gonna need a couple minutes for this one, but I'm gonna get it. I've heard the song, but I don't remember this lyric. If you're a shoe with a pair of nuts and call the dildo boots. <laughs> Uh, my answer is, say my shoe game nuts, so I call him Mr. Peanut. I don't know, but I said Macanolos, so it's like Macadamias and Manolos. Ooh, that's good. That's which I think is a pretty socks. sweet sweet pun. Well, the best I got was Almond Joy or Honey Nut Cheerios. I forget, I'm, goodbye. <laughs> All great answers, but unfortunately, the correct lyric goes, say my shoe game nuts, so I call him Cash Shoes. Oh. Boo! Oh, God. Boo! It doesn't even rhyme! I'll go ahead and eat the second nut. Zach, what will you be doing? I don't know. The third was so much pain. So in order to stay in the game, I have to eat the death nut. Death. What am I gonna do? I wanna feed America. I'm gonna eat this nut. <laughs> Yay, Zach. Ned, don't look at us like that, Ned. Do don't make that Ned face. The moment we've all been waiting for. The Death Knight. 2X Carolina Reaper Maruga something. <laughs> Covered by a sticker? Yep. With Maruga Scorpion and 13 million Scoville Capsaicin Crystals. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Ned. Death Knight. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. You just hate it? Just oh. like that? Yep. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it sometimes. Oh. Oh, it's harsh. Mm, well, it, it definitely burns. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> just how you, just how you feel? <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, my vomit guys. Do we have a bin have a for me? Oh boy. This one's for you, America. Oh my god. You need anything now? Do you need milk? Or? It's not gonna happen. I'm a strong boy. Hey, bartender, can I get some more milk, please? Give me the whipped cream. My kingdom for the whipped cream. Oh. <laughs> Ned, how does this compare to the ghost pepper? What? The worst thing I've ever done. Ned's one tough nut. We're back, baby! All right, Ned. Congratulations on getting through all five of your death nuts. And by continuing to stay in the game, that means you will have to keep eating the hottest death nuts. How did it get back here? Where can peanut drivers go to fill up their tanks? What the f Where do peanut drivers go to fill up their tanks? It's the only gas station for nuts. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm pretty sure the correct answer is the gas pistachion. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no, Zach. Oh, no. I regret to inform you, Listen Zach. to your heart, motherfucker. <laughs> Who dug deep? Who created gold? The answer I was looking for was Shell Station. Ned. <laughs> so, Zach. You can either. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> out, man, and no! Final two. How do you still have three nuts left? I like trivia, I guess. Next question. Who was peanut butter originally made for? A, young children. B, people with no teeth. C, army soldiers who needed a non-perishable food. C, army soldiers. I answered C, armies and soldiers. I feel like we invent things more for the military than for people in actual need of things. The correct answer was B. Oh, oh wow. wow. No T. <laughs> what? Got the lead, so I'm going for it. Gonna have the third nut. Like okay, it. Ned, the choice is yours. You can eat your second death nut to stay in the game and win $10,000 for your charity of choice, or 
you can opt out, which then means Eugene would be declared the winner. I shall elect to eat a second death. <laughs> Ride together, nut together, jab nut for life! I can't watch. Why did I do it a second time? <laughs> I don't even know how bad it is. Ned loves bad ideas. No. <laughs> Ned loves no, bad no, ideas. No, no, I'm, no. I'm still probably gonna lose. I'm not even gonna get more money for my charity. Um. <clears throat> Dude, if that's the third one, I can't imagine what the fifth one is. How you feel, Ned? Mm. Not great, Bob! I don't think I've ever sweat this much in the Try Guys video. Our next question is another pun off, boys. Oh, yeah. What do you call a nut in space? I can know this. I believe the correct answer is a space pistachio. <laughs> Nut in space, where no one can hear you cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An astronaut! Oh! While you did make a funny pun, Eugene, the answer I was looking for was astronaut. Oh my god. I'm going to eat the fourth nut. Stay in the game. It's like once you eat one. Here we go. Very painful right now. Oh God. Oh, it's like someone's in my throat with a rake. Oh shit. I am dropping off one final death nut to Ned. We've entered sudden death nut. We have one question left. Whoever gets it right is the winner. Whoever gets it wrong must endure. The death nut. Oh no. I touched my eyeball. Oh boy. In my hands, I have the weight of the world's largest PB&J sandwich. Whoa. Whoever can get closest without going over will be the winner. Hmm. It all comes down to this. The UNICEF bears habitat for humanity. I guessed 301 pounds. Shit. That's probably right, I just said 50 pounds. <laughs> and there is a winner. The correct answer for the world's largest PB&J sandwich weighing in at 1,342 pounds, which means, Ned, you have won the game. <laughs> Thanks for pistachio watching, where the Try Guys is only one nut left. It's only as funny as the music track we play right here. <laughs>